Hey guys, this is Adam Ferns here, and wow, I actually nailed the intro this time. Oh my god. Okay, um, anyway, this is um, the first video I've done in a while. I'm sorry I may have abandoned you guys, but I haven't got much free time, and I'm just trying to record a bit quieter than normal because I don't want to disturb my parents, so that's why I'm not really shouting like I normally do. But um, anyway, this is an opinionated video, and I did say I'll do this video on my last one, or another one. But um, here it is, my top 10 favourite Pokemon from Generation 3. And if you don't know what Gen 3 is, it's the Pokemon now introduced in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Basically, the Hoenn region. And I will start things off by saying this is my personal opinion, so... My opinion, my list will not be the same as yours. If it is, then we are BFFs. No question about it. Um, feel free to leave your top 10, top 5, even top 3 down in the comments below. I do read the comments. I get the notification saying, you got a comment. Okay, let's read it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love it. Okay, so let's get right into this with my honourable mentions being Swampert, Breloom and Slacking. Now, um, if you know me well enough, you know I use one of them a lot. One, not as often, and I rarely use the other. Uh, but they're all kind of equal to me because they all have their pros and cons when it comes to using them. Slacking with its ability, Swamp It for its weakness, and Breloom just because it is incredibly fragile. Fragile be meaning it's very easy to take down. Ignore the light there, don't worry, you can still see my hand, but I don't think I'll be holding anything up though. Uh, kicking things off in the top 10 now. Number 10, Armaldo. Armaldo, I did love this Pokemon, but now it's from what was number 1 in the Rock or Bug type ranking. Or it's number 5 there, and number 10 in the Gen 3 Pokemon. What happened? I don't know. But um, I think it just probably has to do with the fact that it's so hard to get Anorifs in Pokemon Go. And if you don't know how to evolve Pokemon in Pokemon Go, you need to catch many Pokemon of a certain species, that species, and you get candy for that. When you get enough candy, you can evolve it into its evolution. So for me, Anorif into Armaldo. Unfortunately... I'm having trouble actually doing that. I have an Armaldo, but I need two to complete a mission I had for two years now. And for that simple reason, Armaldo is my buddy Pokemon in Pokemon Go, I will admit that. I don't like it. I hate it because of that, but I like it because of how useful it can be. Nothing new. Because uh, of how useful it can be, and but it does get beaten very easily. Especially from someone that's going to be going against Narmaldo soon, it will be taken down very quickly. By the measure of his team, yeah, it's going to go down in probably one or two hits, so I'll be lucky to get a hit off. Number nine is Blaziken, and if you know me well enough, which I know one of you do, that watch this, maybe another one, if he actually does watch this, you know who you are. Um... um I use this thing a lot. I really do love I love this thing. Unfortunately, it gets beaten by another fire fighting type, and you should know which one if you've seen my previous videos or you know how bad Embor is. <laughs> but Blaziken is the Kung Fu chicken. Um, its design is amazing. Stats and moveset amazing. Mega. Um, it's awesome. Uh, the first Hoenn starter Mega to be introduced before the Hoenn remakes. And one more thing. Oh yes, it's ability. Ability for Blaze Gun. Blaze. Mm -mm -mm. Hidden ability. Speed boost. One of my favourite abilities ever. Give it the move protect. You're faster than most Pokemon on the field. And that's my favourite thing to do. Just go out against an insanely fast Pokemon. About to attack me. So let's say it's a Salamence. Uses Fly. I go for an attack because I'm like, okay, I could definitely outspeed this. Flies up, okay, can't hit it. Okay, maybe it does outspeed me. Speed boost. Oh no, that means I would attack. Then it would just hit me with fly. Protect. 
There we are. So I just protect myself, does nothing. Hit it, dead. <laughs> and that actually happened with Reese's Salamence. And I'm really glad that happened because that was the last spice I had of him and ever will. Um, you know, what I said at the start of this channel, saying how we didn't fall out, he, d he doesn't know this, he doesn't watch my videos. We have fallen out now. And that's for the simple reason, I'm not going, it's like that thing, if you repeat the same thing over and over again ex and expect a different result, that's insanity. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing, asking him the same thing over and over again, and I always get the same bloody result. And for that reason, it's kind of done. And um, you understand why if you got to know him and how it gets really infuriating after a while. But that's just me. Anyway, don't expect a collaboration with him. I have no intention to, if he can't be bothered to put the effort in to even come around mine before this whole pandemic, to hang out with me or make a collaboration, join in on a video, like when I was in the Dimensional Gamer Squad, why should I? Really no point. If he's not going to put the effort in, then why should I? Simple as. Eighth place, Flygon. Uh, <laughs> this was my favourite Pokemon of all time. I don't know what happened to it to make it go down, but it has to do with its weakness, the fact it gets outclassed by other dragon types, its design is great, its moveset is great, its ability is kind of expected to levitate, but um, it's just mediocre actually. I loved it, but it's just mediocre, there's nothing else I can say about it, it's just not great anymore. <laughs> Sorry Flygon, the years have not been kind to you. They haven't been kind to number one either, but number one's actually pretty good, in my opinion. Seventh place is Rayquaza. And I nearly said the wrong version of saying this name because I grew up saying that version. But I need to say it by its proper name because I am... I, I need to pinpoint when stuff I said wrong and all that. Like Lincoln Rock. It's Lycan Rock. But Rayquaza. Um, Rayquaza. Uh, it's the... Yes, it is. The only legendary on this list. And it's a good one, I'll be honest. Um, if you haven't used Rayquaza, where have you been? Sorry, no offence, but where have you been? Um, it's honestly one of the best Pokemon, legendary-wise, that I've ever seen. One of the strongest, not the strongest, though. The strongest belongs to either Arceus or Ultra Necrozma. This is a fax. It is a fact, actually, if you watch a certain video of all the legendaries Pokemon fighting each other, those two are the final two. Rayquaza was close, so... Um, but Rayquaza is not here just because of Rayquaza, because Airlock is not a great ability. Moveset, yes. Sats, yes. Design, yes. What's better? Mega Rayquaza. The only Mega to not require a Keystone. Because you can give it literally any item you want, and it was still Mega Evolve, instead of having to give it a stone to evolve it. So I can give my Rayquaza, I don't know, a Life Orb, boost its attack, but also takes damage every time it uses an attack. It'll get stronger, along with its amazing stats. Any hit is guaranteed to get it in any Pokemon, at least in yellow. And that is why it's banned from Ubers, because... <laughs> Of Life Orb Mega Rayquaza. The Life Orb banned it from Ubers. Uh, but its design just gets even better. And honestly, if you haven't seen it, but this YouTuber called Dookie Shed actually gave a perfect explanation to why I love Mega Rayquaza. Um, he calls it Mega Rayquaza. Every now and then I called it Rayquaza. So, <laughs> anyway, sixth place, Gardevoir. And it's not there because of a certain reason. It's there because it's a great Pokemon to use, and its Pokedex entry shows how loyal it can be. It'll create black holes to protect its trainer from harm, even though the trainer will get sucked into it. Oops. Um, but its design is great. Its Mega is a bit questionable, but I like it. Stats, great. Design, I already said design, I think. Moveset, amazing. Uh, experiences out of it, I actually haven't completed an old Hoenn game, but I have completed the remakes, just not the old ones. 
So with a certain video coming up soon, this is like very soon. No, not very soon, like a month, maybe two from now, if I keep uploading this schedule kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I will be missing out one point um, that should be said there, but didn't really partake in a certain event there, so can't add him. You'll understand what I mean later, because I will bring this up again. But, um, man, uh, Gardevoir, just a great Pokemon. That's all I can say, really. I use it quite a lot, but it doesn't really pull through a lot. Like, it's not the best Pokemon on this team. On any teams I use, it's not the best Pokemon, because it's normally outclassed by, I don't know, an Alakazam, a Sylveon, a Florgeous... I use it on multiple teams, but it does get outclassed by other psychic or fairy types. I do use a lot of monotype teams, so that's why I keep saying Sylvie on Alakazam and all that. Anyway, fifth place is Milotic, and similar reason to Gardevoir, really. Um, design is amazing, it's one of the most gorgeous Pokemon I've ever seen. Um, stats, okay. Moveset, okay. Not as great as Gardevoir's, unfortunately. And it's not always the strongest Pokemon on the teams I use it on. Strongest Pokemon than that water type team it's on is I think it's a Swampert. <laughs> Ignoring its weaknesses it's a Swampert. Maybe a Greninja. I'm not sure. But um yeah it's just Milotic. Amazing Pokemon still. I can't deny it it's an amazing Pokemon. I loved Cynthia's one that she used in the Diamond Pearl and Platinum games. I do lose a couple of Pokemon to it. Not as much as it's as her race, though. So more on that Pokemon later. But um, it's just there for nostalgia reasons. The fact I've only seen Cynthia use one in Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. And the fact it always takes at least one of my Pokemon down. That's pretty much why it's there. Like There's no other major great experiences of it. Because it gets outclassed by the other members on that team. Fourth place, Agron. Now this one is the best of its team. With the most resistances and the most immunities from the uh, types, other types, so it's not, or is. Most resistances and most immunities, it's obviously a great start to a great Pokemon on any of my teams. To go along with its God's tier stats and amazing movesets, moveset, you got a Pokemon that you actually can't predict all the moves moves on. Like, if it uses Steel and Rock-type move, okay, there's two more moves here. What can they be? Does it cover its weaknesses? Does it cover another Pokemon's weaknesses? What does it do? I'm scared. Do not put me against that thing. Because you never know what the moveset can be. Unless you got a Pokemon that... Unless you got a person that's really predictable. And you're like, okay, that guy's going to have just moves which are just really strong which are physical based, you could just send out, I don't know, uh, fighting type, it doesn't have a, f they don't have a flying or psychic type move, You'll you'll be fine, just, that's also referring to another, that's also referring to someone else that I don't really talk to anymore, but, um, he does do that kind of stuff, that's why he's so predictable, um, but yeah, Agron, uh, Great design. If you have not seen Agron, then I don't know what's going on with you. Like, you need... If you have seen Agron, then you will know why its design is great and why you should fear it. But, um, third place, Swallow. Now, you probably question, why is Swallow up this high? It's just, like, the regional bird of this region. And, yeah, but... It's a great one. I had great experiences with this Swallow. Especially my sw shiny Swallow. Not trying to flex or anything, but the best Swallow I have is a shiny one. Its nature is adamant, so boost attack lowers special attack, which is great, because all Swallows are physical attackers. Ability Guts. Okay, so it's under safe condition. Attack has doubled. Give it the Toxic Orb. Okay, but... <laughs> Boosts the attack every time when it's poisoned. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does lose HP though, unfortunately. But, okay, you can work with that. Moveset being Protect, Roost, Brave Bird, and 
facade. Now, facade does double the damage when it's under when a Pokemon's under a status condition. Add that to guts, and add that to a Pokemon where facade would do neutral damage. Well, that's a one shot right there. And I use that so much. Oh yeah, don't forget stab. I use that so much, and I absolutely love that. It takes down at least two Pokemon per battle I use it in. I'm saying that now as a promise, but I know it's not going to pull through when Lucas goes against it, because I know he's just going to be like, okay, so it goes against two, right? Okay, yep, 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 yep. It didn't even take down one. Because he done that with uh, my Levani a couple when I said Levani was my best bug type. Then he said, oh yes, his prize Levani got one-shotted by Volcarona. Which it did, and I still hate that Volcarona. But um, more on that later. Uh, number two, Metagross. Um, I think the only thing I need to say is Mega Metagross. That's all I need to say. It's shiny, it's great. Um... Design, great for both Mega and regular. <laughs> Moveset, amazing. Stats, god tier. And it definitely does earn its spot as, I believe, yeah, yeah, one of the pseudo legendaries on this list. Um, if there's anything I do need to say about it that's a negative, um, not really, nothing really. Sorry, there's a bug in the way. Just kind of like, the bug's like, oh, I'm the center of attention now. <laughs> what are you going to do? That's what I'm going to do. But, um, oh my god, I have not been outside for a while. <laughs> uh, Metagross is just, um, always packs a punch, like, and that's not even metaphorical, that's literal. Give it bullet punch. Even if it does go down one hit, you will get a hit out. Um, but yeah, Metagross, yes, amazing Metagross, that's all I can say. Design is just the best aspect about it, in my opinion. Moves and stats, yeah, they're all right, but the design, sorry, flawless. Number one, if you know me well enough, you know exactly what this is, and if you don't know me and just think it's probably the other pseudo legendary, it's not. The number one is Sceptile, and I will need, to, and I will say this: Salamence not on here. Yeah, because I actually don't like Salamence. I do use it, but Salamence, it caused, it caused some. Um, rage in me and other pokemon on this list did but salamence just uh i got a friend that has a shiny choice scarf salamence and if you know what choice scarf does you know how annoying it that is now it boosts your speed but locks you into one move use a move that none of your pokemon none of my team resists like dragon call let's say because i don't have a steel type on that team for some reason that's a one shot each time because there's moxie as well that is the most annoying thing, and I can't outspeed it. The only thing that I have to rely on is surviving a hit and taking it down in one hit. It doesn't work. Um, but yes, Sceptile is number one. And it's for the simple reason, Sceptile's actually my most powerful Pokemon on any of my teams. Um, now, you're probably saying, wait, Garchomp, Lucario, and Greninja on most of your teams, and... They're pretty strong. Why isn't Sceptile? Why is Sceptile your strongest? This one is a perfectly bred Sceptile. A shiny, perfectly bred Sceptile with Timid as an, as an ability. It boosts the speed and lowers attack. I mean, special attack and speed are insanely high. Give it the strongest grass type move in the game, along with the Mega Stone. Put it in the double battle. Have a. Uh, a Greninja, let's say, for bias reasons, um, next to it. Have someone try and use an electric... <laughs> Have someone try and use an electric type move on you. It won't hit the Greninja, because it will go straight for the Sceptile and make it even stronger. And when that does happen, this happens against Reese and a couple other friends, not Lucas, surprisingly, a lot of times, and it wins me the battle, it actually does. Um, I can't remember a time where the Sceptile actually let me down, unless it was in a single battle format. It does do some damage. But, uh, oh, so it, this Sceptile did get beaten by a Snorlax once. And if you know this um, very popular YouTuber called Versus Network, 
You know what I mean by this septile got his ass handed to. <laughs> uh, it was a six on six battle actually against Versus Network, but it turned out to be just six on one. That Snorlax swept my entire team. Even the Swellow, a Greninja, Volcarona, Lycanroc, and I believe it was a Metagross. I can't remember though, but I know for a fact I did not win that battle and did not take down that um, Snorlax. It had a Citrus Berry, Recycle, Fire Punch, Curse, and Facade. It was the most annoying Pokemon I've ever gone against. I'm glad it's over, I'm never challenging him again. Uh, but it was a good learning experience for me. Um, I can be beaten, <laughs> so... And when my friends saw that, they were like, oh, okay, let's create a Snorlax that you can't beat. He tr they tried them, I swept them. <laughs> With the Sceptile. Um, if there's anything I do need to say about Sceptile, um, that's a negative. There isn't really a negative, apart from it was a really popular Pokemon to me, but now it's just moved down from second out of all the Pokemon to, I like to say, around fifth or fourth. It's moved down quite a bit. And it's something that I can't change. It's my opinion, and I can't just change my opinion like that. It's, for example, um, if one of you, let's say, pick, think, think something you like. So for me, it's probably Harry Potter. My favourite movie is Order of the Phoenix. You can't just go up to me, or I just can't say, hmm, you know what, I think I like Goblet of Fire more. You know what, I like Goblet of Fire more. It doesn't change like that. You need to actually think of a good reason why it's better, and why the one that was your favourite just gone down. For me, Sceptile, I just haven't used it very often, because no one ever battles it. <laughs> it rarely gets a chance to battle, which is the upsetting thing about it. It gets outclassed by some other Pokemon now, but it I do remember it as my fastest Pokemon of all of them. Sceptile's the fastest, but it's not the strongest. I think I said it was my strongest, but I meant to say it was the fastest. Anyway, that is all for this time. That was my top 10 favorite Pokemon Gen 3. It didn't sound like this video went well, because I kept changing topics to other things. Got a couple of interruptions over there. I had to deal with that. But join me next time for my next video, which will be either my top 10 Pokemon from, from Generation 4, Sinnoh, or, oh gosh, Battle of the Beasts, episode 42, Vespic versus Carnivora. And if you know why I sighed to that, then you know why I'm not looking forward to this battle, because I love both of these beasts. And to see one having to die such a painful, painful, agonising death, um, it's not something I like to see. <laughs> anyway, that is all for this time. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, I believe this corner. Um, if he does by any chance watch this, GingerCat59, I think it is. I loved your review on the Link to Series Series 1. I'm tempted to say it's probably best than mine, uh, but <laughs> um, it was a great review. I look forward to seeing your other view reviews later on in the future. And uh, to anyone that's watching this video that does upload videos onto YouTube, I need to say you're, you're all doing a great job, remaining positive throughout this whole pandemic. And um, even though we can't go outside, it's just upload videos to keep the viewers entertained so then everyone entertains so then they have something to do but yeah that's all for this time until then i'll see you next time